Tuesday morning it's uh, about 7 15 and we are getting ready to go to work um, so it seems that the garbage removal dumpster removal at 3 in the morning happens every Monday at 3 in the morning I'm gonna punch you uh, please, please stop okay thank you um, so earplugs were a great investment Eric did a good job with that. Oh, that's bad lighting. Okay. Um, earplugs were a good investment. Eric was very smart. Uh, and let's see, I'm a little out of it. I need to go get a cup of coffee, but I figured I would get one on the road rather than here. Because, row ads? Row ads, that's for you, Josh. Um, because I wouldn't have had enough time to drink it, and I don't have any travel cup things right now. So, um, I'm headed to the other campus building today, and that means Eric and I will get to spend some time apart. Sure. I just mean sometimes it's nice to come home and be able to share things that he didn't actually see happen, which is kind of a nice from time to time. Um, I'm meandering with my words. I need to get some coffee and get to work and get out of here. What are you doing, babe? I want to know if you wanted to bring this to your desk. I'm not gonna be at my desk today, remember? Yeah, but you should leave this at your desk. Okay. It's Eleanor. I know, for I'm gone in 60 seconds. Yeah. Um, what am I doing today? I meant, what are you doing right now? Oh, what am I, I'm not doing anything. I'm getting ready to go to work. Okay. And hopefully not die because my skateboard motor is a little loose. You're gonna be fine. Wear a helmet. It's kind of bad when you're driving and like your transmission just falls to the ground, right? Yeah. It's pretty much what I'm about to go through. <laughs> but it's not like it's gonna explode. It's a matter of exploding. It's a matter of hitting my back tire. I go fine into a truck and get my head squished like a watermelon. No. I don't think that's gonna happen, dear. You also have a helmet on. Now watch. Tomorrow, this video goes viral. The guy predicted exactly how he was going to die. It's crazy. That's awful. <laughs> All right, let's go to work, babe. <laughs> All right. So I'm pretty sure it's one of the last few gorgeous days in New York. It's like 75 and sunny and gorgeous. And I sat outside to eat lunch today out by the reservoir in Central Park. It was really nice. Um, I ate lunch in under 10 minutes, so I had a chance to sit and read for a little bit, which was hopefully lovely, because it's just so nice out today. I'm headed back to work now, so unfortunately, my little summer, faux summer hiatus is over, at least till this afternoon. Um, but I've been super productive today, and I'm getting to do a bunch of creative projects, as well as a lot of like process-related work all good stuff um yeah that's my day so far i think it's taco night tonight eric texted me a picture of a taco with a question mark so i think that means it's taco tuesday um but i gotta go to the grocery store to do that so that's this afternoon but we're not there yet <laughs> So the rest of work was great today. Um, got home this afternoon, had a chance to read for a little bit, watched some TV, caught up on Supergirl. I'm really liking season two. It's really good. Um, made tacos, because it's Taco Tuesday, and now Eric is watching wrestling. Um, however, a huge moth flew into the house because we don't have a screen on our kitchen window and I had the window open because it's like 75 degrees outside. We're in a like Indian summer moment right now here in New York. It's gonna get cold again next week, but right now it's positively delightful outside. Um, but a huge moth flew in the house and I gave Eric a warning. He doesn't like basically nature. He's not a fan. 
I grew up with a lot of it and you just have to ignore it. Otherwise you just get freaked out and bothered by it and I can't be bothered by it anymore, but Eric is currently a little freaked out. Hey Eric. Hey, what's up? There's a moth in the house. Why are you being a jerk? I just think it's funny that you get scared of slash bothered by. If it has more than four, count them. One, two, three, four legs. I don't want to deal with it. He doesn't like spiders either. I hate spiders. Um, he's even scared of daddy long legs, which are the least intimidating spiders, They're spiders. of all time. You can't say he doesn't like spiders. They're like friendly. And they want to be best friends with you. They don't. Really no, no daddy long legs has ever offered to buy me a drink. <laughs> but back to our moth, it's a pretty decent sized moth. Wait, I it's would, not our moth. Kill it. I would say it's like that big. It's yeah. a pretty good sized moth. Yeah, kill it. I can't be bothered. I mean, you can't be bothered. You. I no, I don't. I I don't mess with anything that has more than four legs. I'm the one who has to kill all the it's bugs really, in our house. It's really not funny. Too scared. It's okay. But phobias are not something to laugh at. Oh, I'm laughing at you. We're married. I can do that. I just don't like bugs. They, they, they. No. Okay. I grew up in Mississippi where we had cockroaches that were like this long on a regular. It's not basis. a cockroach. That's a that's a, a mouse. A what? Excuse me. No, I'm saying something like this big shouldn't be a roach. It's a, it's a, no. Yeah, like. Like no, that big. no, no, there shouldn't be something like that. that. That's a, that's an, that's a pretty normal size Mississippi cockroach. Well, I don't want and to. And by the way, Eric says cockroach. That's not how you say it's it. Cockroach. No, it's just a cockroach. Cockroach. No, there's not an A in between it. You should look at a dictionary and learn how to spell. It's cockroach. He's wrong. Um, but anyway, so we have a harmless moth who's hanging out in our house right Disease now. Disease infested moth. I don't think moths It's spreading the carry, avian flu. I don't think moths carry diseases. Until it does. Okay. Anyway, I don't know where it is right now, which means Eric won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but I think it's kind of funny. Just a little bit. Just kill the moth. I don't know where it is. Look for it. If you can't look for it? No, I don't want to deal with it. I don't care about it. It doesn't bother me. It can like do whatever it wants. It's gonna lay eggs in your hair. No, I've never had a moth lay eggs in my hair. I just don't want it in the house. I don't know why. I've never had a moth in the house. There shouldn't be one now. All right. Well, then you should call our super and have him put the screen back. Yeah, just on the kill the moth. Just kill the moth. Okay. Anyway, um, to be continued on the moth saga. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Oh, you pissed it off! You got him? I got him. You're gonna commit murder on camera? Yeah. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna fail though. I'm gonna try to come at it from this angle. Oh, he's moving! Oh, shit. He's on the grass. I can't get him if he's on the grass! He attacked, he attacked you, I told you! <laughs> it's just a moth. I lost him. I don't He's up top, look up. Hush, Do you want to try and get it out of the house? Like with a window? Oh it's over here, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. Got him. You want to see his smashed remains? No, I... He's smooshed. He Absolutely is smooshed. smooshed. That's gross. Like, his entrails are all over the TV It's disgusting. Console. Okay. It's for my throat. He told you it was dangerous. All right, thank you for killing that. You did a good, Dexter. We're safe. We can sleep tonight. Yeah.